lovely Abbey Centre uh, in Ballyshannon, and um, it's a great evening for Maria uh, Nuna McDermott on her launch of her time lapse <coughs> exhibition. And as you can see, there's some beautiful works of art, and every piece of art that's there, they, everything tells a story. And I have known Maria for over probably 20 years. Because in a former life, I used to chauffeur her. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I have been here, I'm sister, sister there, met her, and, and her late mom as well. Yeah. And that's, I, I don't know exactly how I got the job tonight, but I'm here anyway. <laughs> but um, no, Maria, and anyone that would know Maria, everything, she's a great storyteller. Even in her artwork, her poetry, everything is a feeling, there's a lovely story in it. Right? And it, you know, it's a great, it's a great honor. And I'm delighted that Bree is living in Kinnock for the last 20 years. I see other, another artist or two here from, from the Kinnock area. We have plenty of artists now every Kinnock, in Kinnock. We also have uh, writers and um, that. So it, so it is brilliant. And I would not, there's one thing, I don't do big speeches. I don't write speeches because I don't, I get, usually get lost, I get lost in the middle of it. But I like to keep it fairly simple and very plain. And I just hand you over to Maria Nuna McDermott tonight, and I wish her the very best. And congratulations on this on this award. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first of all, I just want to thank everybody so much. It's a, an honour and a privilege to have you all share this evening with me. Um, this is a very very special exhibition. Um, it's one that's very, very dear to my heart. Um, it's an exhibition that I have unwittingly been working on for oh, many, many years while caring for my, helping care for my beautiful mother, Maisie, um, who had Alzheimer's. Um, for you that know mom, she loved life. She was the life and soul of the party. If she was here now, she'd be holding council. So this is a celebration um, of her memory, and also it's a tribute to all those that have lost loved ones in the last couple of years. So definitely a celebration. Um, oh, there's a lovely Irish word called, or sorry, a lovely Irish word, lunra, which means to illuminate. And I hope that this exhibition has the power to illuminate, to transform, and to shine a little light into the darkest space of people's lives. I would like to thank a number of people because without their help, this exhibition would not have been possible. I'd like to thank um, the Abbey Arts Centre for hosting the exhibition, to Eilish McIntyre, and to Darren and the boys for setting up the exhibition, and to Linda for all corresponding. So thank you, this is such a beautiful space. We're so lucky to have such a venue on our doorstep. I would like to thank um, Ken Ramsey. He's my braver, Melissa Skelton, who presents my work so beautifully. Such attention to detail, so thank you to Ken Ramsey Bramers. Obviously, I want to thank Justin. <laughs> uh, I've met a lot. Justin knew mom, and I've known Justin for the last, since 2004, moving to Canada. So thank you so much, Justin. Um, I'd like to thank Derek for the beautiful catalogs and the camera work, and for photographing all my work and documenting all my work, and helping me set up the whole exhibition. Thank you, Derek. And to Joshua, who is my Social media uh, guru. Thank you, John. Um, I'd like to say that the Oscars. You can thank all of them. But honestly, I have to thank these people. Um, the Irish Hospice Foundation. I want to thank them for helping fund this project through the Seed Grant Award. And a special mention to Elizabeth Hutchinson and Dominic Campbell who assisted me in coordinating this whole project. I also want to thank the Leitrim County Council for additional funds through the Artist Bursary Award. And I have to say that 
this bonding is so important, ensuring that artists like me, they can create work that is relevant and that has social consequences where the impact and the message is not compromised by financial considerations. So thank you so much. This bonding means so much to me. Thank you. And I just want to finish off by reading you a poem. And the poem is an original piece of poetry and it's to complete the, the painting as you come in the door called The Empty Chair. Empty chairs, empty rooms, and all the spaces in between. The light dimmed forever. Portrait of my mother, pathos and power immortalized. Her imprints remain in the remnants left behind. I sense her presence in the echoes and vibrations of shadows cast, and I feel deeply the last trace of scent to recall her spirit, grasping the tenuous lights in the hope of holding on. The archaeological uncovering of earthly possessions, mere objects of memory and nostalgia, but objects cherished and honored of a life that well. We beg for time, and she granted us rest. That ache of space dared settled dust takes her place. Wishes for freedom now attained, loosed, released, disconnected and forlorn. Years of changing patterns, integuments of life splintered and scattered. Shared seeds, seeking solace in the succession of time. Thank you. Thank you so much and enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thank you.